We are seeing nearly 20% drop in just the last month. Yes, it's up 11% year to date, but it's had so much to grapple with. What does the future hold for NEO? As of October 13th, NEO stock has taken a hit, dropping by 16.19% over the past 30 days and hovering at around $8.44. The road ahead for this Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer is clouded by recent challenges. NIO has grappled with financial challenges, including cash burn, and its stock performance has been far from stellar. In early 2021, NIO's shares were soaring, but now they've dipped significantly. What's causing this decline? It's a mix of stiff competition, falling vehicle sales, and shrinking profit margins. NIO's journey has hit a rough patch, and you're about to discover the twists and turns in this story. NEO's struggle became evident as its stock took a sharp nosedive from its peak in early 2021 when it hit an all-time high of $63. Cash burn has been a persistent challenge. In the second quarter of the year, operating losses more than doubled, reaching a staggering $837.7 million. Falling vehicle sales only added to the strain, with a 24.9% revenue drop totaling $990.9 .9 million. Margins for NEO's vehicles suffered, too, shrinking from 16.7% to a mere 6.2%. While NEO has been a notable player in the electric vehicle industry, selling over 122,400 cars in 2022, it's been grappling with these financial setbacks. The company's cash flow situation is precarious, and it may have to resort to taking on debt and diluting equity to stay afloat. Competition in the EV market is fierce, with industry leader Tesla aggressively slashing prices to counteract declining demand. NEO, among others, has had to fend off the competitive onslaught. These financial struggles have prompted questions about NEO's ability to weather the storm and thrive in a crowded market where rivals like Tesla dominate. The reality is NEO faces an uphill battle as it navigates the challenges of cash burn, falling vehicle sales, reduced vehicle margins, and intense competition from the likes of Tesla. But NEO is a company that's not giving up easily. They're working on setting themselves apart in the EV arena. One standout feature is their innovative battery swapping technology. NEO offers a solution to the prolonged charging time many EVs face. It takes around 20 minutes or more to charge one. NEO's approach is creating a battery as a service system. This nifty system allows you to replace your depleted battery with a fresh one in just three minutes. The company is rapidly expanding this network, planning to have 2,300 battery swapping stations worldwide by the end of the year. This is where NEO might have an edge. Quick, convenient battery swaps provide an alternative to traditional charging stations, and that's a game changer. It opens doors for NEO vehicles to compete not just on price, but also on efficiency and user friendliness. But I think if it gets back above its 50-day moon average at 1135, it could go back to where it was a year ago at 16, 17, 18. That's 50% higher. So I think a lot of the bad news is priced in NEO. And I think if you want exposure, as we really had a hard time measuring, any asset manager, money manager out there has had a very difficult time measuring the reboot out of China. Now, if you're wondering what the future might hold for NEO's stock, you'll want to hear about the AI predictions for the company's performance by the end of 2023. These projections offer insight into NEO's possible trajectory. The AI forecasts suggest a closing price of $9.37 for NEO's stock by the close of 2023. In the shorter term, it anticipates a trading price of $12.10 in the next six months, indicating a potential recovery. Looking further ahead, the projections take a more optimistic turn, hinting at a significant jump to $27.33 in a year. Whales are also making their moves in NEO's stock arena. A significant bearish options position on NEO has surfaced, signifying that someone with substantial financial muscle is betting against the company's performance. This large position came to light through publicly available options history data. The sentiment among these major players is divided. While there's a bearish outlook among the whales, with 90% of their options trades leaning in this direction, there is a 9% bullish sentiment. This split highlights the uncertainty surrounding NEO's future. Among the notable options trades, one put option stands out, totaling a substantial $78,750 in value. On the flip side, there are 10 call options with a combined value of $396,408. This suggests that some investors are betting on a downward trajectory for NEO's stock, while others are hoping for a rebound. Tracking the volume and open interest on these options contracts is a valuable way to gauge investor sentiment and market expectations. It offers insights into the potential price range for NEO's stock, focusing on a range from $8 to $35. The data provides a glimpse into the big player's expectations and strategies, giving you a closer look at the dynamics at play in NEO's stock market. 
So, as you look ahead, Neo's future remains a complex puzzle with challenges and opportunities intertwining. Their unique strategies, like the battery swapping technology and expanding charging stations, offer a glimmer of hope in a fiercely competitive EV market. It's a bold step that could set them apart. AI predictions hint at a possible rebound in the short and long term, giving you some numbers to consider. However, the whale activity in the options market showcases the uncertainty and divided sentiment among investors. Keep a keen eye on NEO's developments to stay informed and make sound investment decisions. It's your investments and, ultimately, your choice. So, keep a lookout, analyze, and make your moves wisely. The possibilities are there, and you can navigate them to your advantage. Speaking of possibilities, we have a massive opportunity that will allow you to maximize your chance to profit. I am excited to introduce the sponsor for this video, Gold Mining Incorporated, which is trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker GLDG. This company is a hidden gem in the gold industry and has the potential to unlock remarkable investment prospects. Gold Mining Incorporated offers a great investment opportunity with massive undervaluation. The company owns 20 million shares of Gold Royalty Corp worth $36 million and an 80% position in Western Alaska Copper and Gold Company. The entire company's market cap is $137 million, almost equal to the value of their stock ownership positions worth $148 million. This means that the market values all their other assets for only $7 million. Moreover, the company has 13 gold projects with a combined amount of 22 million ounces of gold in the ground, worth about $660 million. This allows investors to buy into a company worth 5 times more or 400% upside from the current market cap. Additionally, the company is actively advancing these projects, creating value for shareholders and generating dividend income from its position in Gold Royalty Corp. The company has no debt, cash on hand, and a top-notch management team led by experts in the gold mining industry. Furthermore, the analysts are giving this company a price target of over $5 per share, while it's currently trading at $0.78 cents per share. Over the past years, gold mining has achieved remarkable progress on multiple fronts. Here are the highlights. Firstly, the company established Gold Royalty Corp. as a wholly owned subsidiary with 14 net smelter return royalties on its projects. Gold Royalty Corp. has recently raised over $100 million through a private placement, which has increased the value for gold mining shareholders and provided the capital for future growth. Secondly, the company updated mineral resource estimates on over 75% of its global resources within the past year, using current metal prices and best practices. This has resulted in increased confidence and improved economics for its projects. Thirdly, the company strengthened its technical team by hiring experienced professionals like Alastair Still, the former executive vice president and chief geoscientist of Kinross Gold, who is now the CEO of Gold Royalty Corp., and Paolo Pereira, the former president of Jaguar Mining, who is serving as the president of Gold Mining. Fourthly, the company initiated its first drilling program at La Mina in Colombia based on the positive PEA results, which showed an after-tax NPV of 231 million US dollars and an IRR of 37% for the project. La Mina is a high-grade gold copper porphyry deposit with excellent infrastructure and exploration potential. Fifthly, the company established US Gold Mining Inc. as a wholly owned subsidiary that holds the multi-million ounce Whistler project in Alaska. Whistler is a district-scale gold copper porphyry project with over 170 square kilometers of mineralized land. U.S. gold mining plans to advance and unlock value from this strategic asset in one of the most mining-friendly jurisdictions in the world. Lastly, the company entered into an option agreement with Nev Gold Corp. for the Almaden Project, aka Nutmeg Mountain, in Idaho. Almaden is a low-sulfidation epithermal gold deposit with over 1 million ounces of gold resources. Nev Gold will pay gold mining 3 million US dollars in cash and shares and spend 7 million US dollars on exploration over four years to earn a 70% interest in the project. As you can see, gold mining has been very active and successful in creating value for its shareholders and advancing its projects towards development and production. The company has some of the best partners and backers in the industry, including BlackRock, Rick Rule, Doug Casey, KCR Fund, GDXJ Vanek ETF, Ruffer Gold, Extract Capital, Sprott Global, Marin Katusa, Oppenheimer Holdings. Investing in gold mining could be a smart move as it's currently undervalued and overlooked by the market. By investing in this company, you have the opportunity to invest in a diversified portfolio of gold assets at a fraction of their true value. Gold mining's current enterprise value is only 126 million US dollars, which means that it's valued at only $4 per ounce of gold equivalent resources. 
This is a significant discount compared to the average valuation of gold deals in 2022, which was around $50 per ounce. I highly recommend that you conduct your own research and due diligence on this company. Consider adding it to your portfolio before the market re-rates it, and it becomes more expensive. As for investing in NEO versus gold, it depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance. NEO is a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer and has been performing well in the market. On the other hand, gold has always been considered a safe haven investment during times of economic uncertainty. Ultimately, deciding to invest in NEO, GLDG, or gold mining depends on your research and investment preferences. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know NEO CEO's vision and plans for NEO, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.